Hi, Richard Brundage, reading for Bernard S. Dunlap. I'm based in New York, and I'm non-equity. Now then, Mr. Dunlap, how did we do? See for yourself. 100% renovated and on schedule as promised. Oh, it's lovely, just perfect, even better than before. It should be for all the money it costs. I certainly hope the United States Army won't be asked to contribute to the cost of this renovation. Of course not. You see, these boys are putting their lives on the line for all of the us here in America. Yeah. They deserve to let off steam. Even if it means demolishing a hotel suite or two. Oh, now don't be petty. The damage they caused couldn't have been that bad. Mrs. Osgood, I realize how important it is that you and your Palm Beach ladies for unity. B-E-L-F-U. Uh, yes. As I was saying, I realize how important it is that you sponsor these little weekend leaves for our GIs. Oh, yes, but indeed. don't you think there are more suitable venues? The Palm Beach Royale has been a staple of Palm Beach society for close to 50 years. Presidents and royalty have stayed in this very suite. Well, if it's good enough for royalty, it's good enough for four boys on the battlefield. Mrs. Osgood, this last weekend, we found a young GI stuck through the wall. As I said, they need to let off steam. The wall! Mrs. Osgood, the wall! I'm sure there was a perfectly good reason. He was wearing nothing but a lampshade, singing Begin the Begin. So what's your point? My point is... You really have no interest to me, Mr. Dunlap. As long as this war is on, and as long as my husband is chairman of the board of this hotel, the Palm Beach Royale and everyone on its staff, including yourself, will continue to give their all to support the war effort, whether it be by hosting U.S. functions, organizing fun drives, or pulling GIs out of its walls. Is that understood, Mr. Dunlap? Perfectly. I'm so <clears throat> very fond of you. I would hate for you to have to start looking for employment at another staple of Palm Beach society. As would I. Then we understand each other. Yes, madam. I assure you we will continue to do our very best to accommodate your boys in uniform. Excellent. Now then, let's discuss tonight. Is everything on schedule? Yes, madam. Everything, and I do mean everything, is set and ready to go. Every last detail has been attended to. The ballroom downstairs? The chandeliers are gleaming, the woodwork is polished, the orchestra has been rehearsing all day. This is a very important night, Mr. Dunlap. Don't I know it. This is the largest war benefit the Palm Beach Ladies for Unity have ever thrown. There are reporters here from all over the world. Just think, tonight's benefit will be broadcast live on radios, from sea to shining sea. The technicians are setting up their equipment downstairs as we speak. The ears of the nation will be looking down upon us. And I assure you, the Palm Beach Royale will sparkle like the diamond she is. Of course she will. I have complete faith in you. What about the entertainment? What about it? Has everyone arrived? Everyone except for uh, Claudia McFadden and Athena Sinclair. Goodness, let's hope they don't arrive at the same time. Uh, could you imagine? And Claudia McFadden will be staying here in the presidential suite? Uh, yes. And Miss Sinclair? A suite on another floor on the other side of the hotel. Perfect. And the show? Well, everything's set. Everything's perfect. I've timed every act down to the second. Uh, Miss Sinclair will perform at precisely 8.40. She'll be done and off stage by 9 o'clock. After that, we have Jimmy Durante. Miss McFadden doesn't take the stage till 9.30. By that time, Athena Sinclair will be back up in her suite. They'll never see each other. That's good. Miss McFadden? was adamant that she had no time to be on the same stage, or for that matter, in the same room as Athena St. Clair. It's a shame, really. The last National War Fund benefit, those two headliners raised over $60,000. People just wanted to see if they'd kill each other. They won't get anywhere near each other, I guarantee it. Good man. We don't want any unnecessary drama. Tonight's benefit is too important. As you know, Mrs. Osgood, I run a very tight ship. Nothing happens at the Palm Beach Royale, unless I allow it. What are you doing in there? Hiding from you? All right, where is she? And don't lie to me, I know she's in here. Miss Del Rio, please. And why does she have pictures of Athena Sinclair all over the room? Target practice? This can't be happening. Is she in there? Claudia! No, no, wait! I swear on my life, she's not in there! What's going on? I, I beg your pardon? Look at you! You're sweating! Am I? Why are you so frantic? 
What, frantic? Who's frantic? There's a story in this sleep. I can smell it. That's not a story you smell. It, it's me. There's an energy here. I sense dread. Something horrible. Something disastrous. It's fabulous. Oh, good God. What has she done now? Has she thrown another bellhop off the balcony? Miss Del Rio, I... Of course, with all the sailors jumping off the balconies, it would be hard to notice one more. I'm calling security. Go ahead, call. All I need is a few minutes to say hello. If you open that door, something terrible will happen. Like what? God, how I love this hotel. How I love this suite. How I love... Who the hell are you? Uh, Bernard S. Dunlap, Miss McFadden, I am the general manager of the Palm Beach Royale, at hey, your... Hey. Yes, Miss McFadden, where the hell are my long stem roses? Mr. Dunlap, we were assured long stem white roses. Well, they're in the bedroom, Miss McFadden, four dozen roses, just as you asked for. Well, why are they all in there, Pivot? Yes, Miss McFadden. Room should always be filled with long stem white roses. They bring such joy, such calm. Don't you agree? Well, actually... But white, I... not red. White. White roses are pure and clean. Red roses make me sad. They remind me of my ex-husband. May he rest in peace oh. soon. Pippin, where is the son of a bitch now? Monte Carlo, last I heard. Still too close. Yes, well, I'd just like to say, Miss McFadden, what a great pleasure it is to have you staying with us again. Of course it is, darling. If there's anything you need, please feel free to ask. I have here a schedule for this evening's performance. You're on at <clears throat> 9.30. If you'd like to rehearse, What I'd... I'd like, darling, is a drink. Does this suite come with gin? Uh, oh, yeah. Remove? Yes. Well, yes. Olives? Yes. Blended. Pip it. <laughs> yes, Miss McFadden. Uh, well then, unless there's anything else you need from Actually, me... Actually, uh, Mr... Dunlap. Yes, Mr. Dunlap. There is one more thing. Uh, Athena Sinclair. Has she arrived yet? Uh, not that I know of. Is there a problem? No. And there won't be as long as you keep that little witch as far away from me as possible. I can assure you, you'll never see the woman. Because if I do... You have my word, you won't. Lovely. Would you like to join me for a martini? Uh, do you really... Mean that? Of course not. In that case, uh, no, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go and check on your luggage. Hi, Richard Brundage, reading for Pippet. I am based in New York, and I'm non-equity. They've requested that you finish with that song. What song? The, the song whose title you've told me never to speak. Oh, that song. They want you to finish your set with it. Well, that's just not going to happen. Yes, Miss McFadden. You know, I've never seen that song. That You know I haven't sung that song since, you know, who, well, of course. with her tweedy little voice yes. and her bony little hips. Miss McFadden, I... That normally wrong neck of her. Would, would you mind if She's I... She's the perfect example of what's wrong with Hollywood. Overperfumed vamps with copious eyes, makeup, and countless lovers. Too much sex and not enough talent. You know, I, I really should get your sheet music down All to... that packaging and no substance. They tried to do that to me once when I first came to Hollywood. They tried to make me fit into that mold, but I defied them. I broke the mold, didn't I, Pivot? Oh, they yes. They had me sing for Louis V. Mayer, and he said, You got chops, kid, but you're going to have to fix that nose and put on a diet. Yeah, legend has it you punched, punched him in the face. <laughs> I, he went down like a little girl. But I proved him wrong. For years, with talent, integrity, and the sharp left hook, I became the biggest star of them all. Except for maybe... Say her name, and I'll throw you out of that balcony. Oh, yes, Miss well, McFadden. Now, I think I'll join Mr. Boodles for a little lie down before the show. You, on the other hand, have things to do. Yes, Miss McFadden, I... Can you stay chill? Yes, Miss McFadden. And bring my sheet music down to the orchestra leader. Yes, Miss McFadden. And if I fall asleep, wake me up in an hour. Yes, Miss... Oh... I don't get paid enough for this. And another thing. <laughs> Let the orchestra's leader know, under no circumstance is Athena Sinclair to be permitted to sing that song uh, either. Of course. Well, don't you have things, uh, don't just stand there like a lump? Move. Yes, Miss McFadden. Uh, what, is there anything else you'd like? Your absence. Ah, yeah, very good.